So Huntington's disease is a um, autosomal dominant condition, meaning that individuals who are affected have an affected parent, and the parent, there's, each person has two copies of the gene, and if someone has an expanded repeat length in a Huntington's allele that is 40 repeats or larger, they will go on to develop Huntington's disease. So if you inherit this allele, you will get Huntington's disease. So it's very cut and dry. If you don't get it, you're not going to develop Huntington's disease. So people with an affected parent have a 50% chance of develop, developing it themselves. Now which makes Huntington's usually the poster child for um, concerns about returning genetic information is that there is no treatment for it. It is devastating. You are, people are asymptomatic up until about midlife into about their 40s. So for many years, Huntington's disease and the risk for it has been held up as we just can't return results to folks that are, we can't do anything about it. That information's not in the clinical world deemed, you know, clinically actionable, a term that we don't, don't like. But what we're finding from the folks that we've talked to 30 years out who did get information back, sometimes half of them, you know, got good news and, you know, depending on their outcome, still thought it was incredibly valuable and that information should be returned to individuals regardless of whether or not they got a positive or meaning they will develop Huntington's result or if they had a normal length repeat. So I think it's very important to keep in mind for policymakers that just because it's not actionable and that's how the conditions are that make the list for returning incidental findings and clinical sequencing is there should be medically actionable, something you could do to manage. Um, there is a lot of use and underscores that people find just personal utility, planning, planning for um, different jobs, relocating, re information about deciding about relationships and children and purchasing long-term care insurance. These are still very um, serious, significant decisions that people are using this information to make. And they, so 30 years out, reflecting all of, on all of that, folks thought that was a really valuable experience and it was important to have that information. And when we look at the details of our poster of how they responded um, to our hypothetical situations about getting Huntington's result incidentally or another, uh, or a different situation where it's an actionable um, increased risk for heart disease, something more vague like that, uh, they are both supportive of getting that information.